injured here, 3v3, Death World Temple Blue Team. It's eerie, playing a Chaos Lord, durable and destructive commander walks through cover and cannot be suppressed, fights melee, good offence and disruption. Alongside, final push is an apothecary support commander that fights melee, by default can get a ranged weapon, starts off with a target heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Rounding out Bulu team, some idiot called Indrid plays a plague champion, starts off Range combat with this damage over time bolter can get some nasty melee weapons, good defense, offense and utility can build structures and repair but lacks mobility. Red team, SWAT 858 plays a warp sword or exarch getting smacked on by the chaos lord here knocks him back with a special. Very good for capping and harassing early on with lots of nasty control abilities later. Alongside, Boris plays a big angry warboss melee commander that walks through cover good offense disruption and support from the front lines has capped mid and round that red team Hans Moleman plays an Eldar Farseer support commander that fights melee good debuffs and buffs good mobility with fleet as well Banshees versus my heretics and I'm lucky to get them out of that engagement the full heretics so dangerous to throw in against Banshees and I often lose them this is the Eastern VP this is my map of course Central VP and a Western VP, none of them can be considered natural. Western VP is very, very slightly closer to south, and Eastern VP is very, very slightly closer to the north, but I don't think that makes a difference really. Warboss chasing down scouts, takes a model, but he's very low. Double sluggers here for Boris. Warboss does get away okay. A heal goes off on the scouts who use their shotgun blast and some were out. Get out of there. Tactical Marine is now being chased down and that's a full retreat from final push. But he did okay, only lost a couple of scouts. I've managed to take the east side, 490, 462, and I'm pushing this natural power for red. Both teams have a natural power. This is the southeast. And there is the southwest for red. Blue have a northwest and a northeast. There is a contested power in mid and a contested wreck point in mid as well with natural rep points in the corners also. Wanted a pretty open 3v3 map that was friendly to melee armies in that you don't have tons and tons of cover to move around, no tight spaces that you can get trapped on corners and things and it's very difficult to shut out a side with south teams because you can easily flank around these big walls on both sides of the map. Plasma Grenade goes in, he's taken down my Plague Champion here and my Heretic's just about getting away. These guys have their Aspiring Champion, I've gone for a double CSM opening. I go back to take this Garrison, but this Garrison is very, very far away from the VP. So you can't shoot at something capping with a normal range squad. So you can't really camp the VP with the Garrison. It also can only shoot straight towards the VP, it can't shoot towards the stairs because the walls block it. 490, 396, forcing melee with my Kel Space Marines, but they're knocked back by an awesome special attack from the Farseer. She has her Spirit Stones, which makes dealing with Banshees that little bit harder because Heretics in amongst them are going to have a, a lot tougher time with that Spirit Stones heal going off. Warps of Rexarch is down here, have a Shuriken Cannon for SWAT, and he's getting another one as well, covering the area pretty well. Kel Sword can't be suppressed, of course, but he can take a lot of damage if he gets close. He's managing to sneak around here. Heretics disrupting the shuriken's targeting, but he does take it down nicely. Switch targets there, swap manually. Heretics were distracting it for a second there. East side is now red, but here comes final push to help and revise my play champion. And now we hit power. He has a tactical marine flamer on the field. Eerie with double heretics into raptors. I don't like double heretics versus Eldar because Dire Avengers just melt heretics if they don't have an aspiring champion. And double aspiring champion is pretty bad. Usually, anyway. 490, 327, a double cap for blue team. And we're hitting this power and we completely take it down. Hands getting doubled. But on the other side, Eerie is getting doubled and they are taking down our power. And look at this, Boris, as you can see has the bang bang hammer which provides a damage and speed buff 
every time it hits and he's smacking on the power node so he can get that buff to maximum stacks without putting his war boss under a lot of pressure. He is forced off though. Devastators on the field for final push with that heavy bolter which suppresses and here are the raptors jump troops that suppress nearby enemies when they land. Awesome. You can suppress an entire blob with these guys. Reasonably tough as well. 350 hit points per man. And they jump the shuriken but jump into the path of another shuriken. Here come Alien Banshees. Go after the heretics. Look at that close range grenade barrage. Beautifully done by Eerie. But they five got up and their washout hits nothing. Banshee's in trouble now for SWAT. These ladies have their fleetness aspect as well. So doesn't want to lose them but does. 419-264. Raptors get away with one model loss. War boss levels to two now. Okay, I thought still level one has no war gear. Other carry has the master crafted bolt up. Gonna try and take this contested wreck point. Webway gate is up for hands and he uses the Farseer's Webway Gate cloak coming after me. I can't see him, but I know Banshees are gonna be there, so I move in with my heretics. My CSM and Plague Champion knocked back by an awesome kinetic shot there. And because of that Spirit Stone's heal, my heretics lose that fight easily and are taken down. Plasma Grenade also goes in. I'm very lucky that Final Push was here to help. Some shooter boys there as well. Managed to force off the Howling Banshees. There's a Plasma Grenade, but they are dipping in and out of cloak. So I can't find them to melee them on retreat, so I can't take them down. 483256, 21 cap for blue team. Final push comes and saves me again. Play champion very nearly level 2. Kicking off on the west side, what's going on? Warps of Rex are in cover. Shuriken Cannon is there. Raptors running into another Shuriken Cannon and Howling Banshees. That is nasty. And he loses the squad. 483, 242. 2 to 1 cap for blue. And we everyone goes tier 2. Looks like SWAT went first. Forest over on the east side now. Tying up my Plague Champion with that scary Bang Bang Hammer. It's not a power melee weapon, but it does some serious damage. Double Sluggers, look at this. Has a Looters there as well. That Death Gun. I retreat my CSM because I don't want them to lose a the model there. I knew the Apothecary couldn't heal them. Eternal War on both of my CSM, but I lost my Heretic, so this is all I have now. Going into tier 2. Hands Mole Man has Banshees. SWAT has replaced his Howling Banshees. Agile melee unit with power melee weapons. So dangerous to those Raptors jumping in. Which is why they wiped. Final push with Devastator Scouts and Tactical Marines. War Truck on the way for Boris. Not very pleased that I got the east side with my Plague Champion having to waddle up and down these stairs all the time. With a very, very slow commander. 460-235. Farseer capping, she's level 2. I was relieved that Hannes did not go for his Doombringer Fortune Runes of Reaping build because I hate that thing. Howling Banshees have the aspect of strength, but they don't have their Exarch. Boris and Final Push duking it out in the right center. Warboss forces off the Tactical Marines with a Flamer. There's a Webway Gate and there's another Webway Gate. Devastators are set up. Gonna lead the Warboss back into it and Double Sluggers are there with their Knob Leaders. Do not have Burners though and he's easily gonna be able to get into that Devastator with Swampum. Swampum boost speed and reduces range damage by 50%. Touch of Noble Heretics, wipe the Banshees, so lucky I have that and my Plague Champion is now fully kitted out. Icon of Noble, Armor of Pestilence and Plague Fist. Banshees did not stand a chance. Another Icon of Nurgle, sorry another Touch of Nurgle, Doom Blast on those retreating stuff but here comes Boris and I can't take down the Farseer Touch of Nurgle. It's such a lifesaver. Really would have struggled versus those Banshees with just my Plague Champion because of that Spirit Stone's heal if I did not have Touch of Nurgle. 150 red. 
for area of effect damage and area of effect heal and area of effect knockback on death. Great synergy with the Doom Blast. Forest putting me under serious pressure. I go for this garrison because I know he doesn't have burners on his sluggers. My plague champion I think goes down. There's Aura of Decay and I use it to retreat, do I? Another smack from the war boss and another one, but he does get away. 298, 235, a double cap for red team. They have the west side, a bit of a standoff here. Some corn worship which boosts speed. Great synergy, of course, with the Chaos Lord. They have a webway gate. They have a guardian weapon team which is facing this way because he knows Final Push is trying to flank here. It is very easy to flank the sides on this map. Falcon on the field for a SWAT. Hands my man also has one. Support vehicle for Eldar and a very good one. Decent damage output. And Plasma Cannon hits terrain there. Decent damage output also allows you to reinforce and transport allied infantry. 263, 235, 2 to 1 cap for red. Shooter boys fully upgraded with Nob Leader and Big Shooter putting out some serious DPS and looted as well. Lots and lots of DACA for Boris. War boss now fully upgraded cyborg implants and the boss pole. Has some good support, disruption, and damage now. Rangers with their Pathfinder Kier for hands. Here he gets a Chaos Dreadnought and I replace my Heretics, which you saw help wipe those Banshees before. 217235. Dreadnought of Eerie taking damage from that Falcon. Look at that. Here comes Boris flanking brilliantly with the war truck. And he's. That is painful. Eerie just got tripled pretty much. Lost a bunch of stuff. The Chaos Lord does get away. These heretics look like they're going to get away. Chaos Dreadnought getting chased down. Hounding Banshees are in there with their spear. But they're hanging back and they don't even need them. Farseer was there with her singing spear, that's why. And a Dreadnought goes down, that is painful for Eerie. He's going for some Plague Marines now. Just need to try and hold our power here. 161, 235. I have Heretics going after this. Webway Gate, there's Touch of Nurgle again. That's what you get when you try and surprise my Heretics. They get a gift from Nurgle and you have to run away. There we go. So I basically used 150 red to make sure my Heretics don't wet there. Was that a waste? They do go after this webway gate now. One down. My Chaos Space Marines with Marco Zinch, Eternal War, and Aspiring Champion take the Eastern VP. 155229. Falcon mid for hands. A well managed Falcon can be an awesome tier 2 asset. And final push gets a Dreadnought on the field. Walker vehicle for, Ke for Space Marines, I should say. Starts off with two close combat weapons, so pretty dangerous in melee combat. Also inspires nearby troops with each melee kill. Here comes our Plague Champion. Pestilent Strike on the Banshees, stunning pretty much everything that Hans had there. His Dire Avengers are all very close. Icon of Nurgle doing damage over time. There is a Doom Blast. Falcon has pushed off though. My Plague Marines harassing the Rangers, in turn being harassed by the Farseer. My heretics are suppressed. What were they suppressed by? I'm not sure. 155208. Plague Champion now level 3. War Truck being chased by that Dreadnought. He has Tactical Marine Sergeant now. War Truck gets a rear armor hit with this 100 DPS heavy melee weapon set that the Dreadnought has, but the War Truck gets away. Wraith Guard now on the field for SWAT. Short range artillery unit. Huge damage to all targets with area of effect and they suppress infantry these guys can be incredibly dangerous especially if Hans puts guide on them here is Chaos Lord Armored Inferno Icon of Corn on the way and the Lightning Claws 100 DPS power melee and look at this engagement right now there's Emperor's Fist by the Dreadnought huge knockback damage and stun Chaos Lord runs away didn't take a lot of damage just felt he overextended Plasma Cannon getting big shots in where the hell is it? it's the back here Dreadnought lives and backs off. Dreadnought really, really helping us push here. An excellent choice by final push. I'm getting a Chaos Dreadnought off my own. Taking lots of damage though from that Wraith Guard. Needs to back away. Very, very lucky that the War Boss does not have this powerful here. That would have been a dead Dreadnought. 
Great God. Knocked back by the plasma cannon. What was pushing on the Devastator is going to take these guys down now. Nicely done by Boris. Excellently judging that. What is going to get taken down in retreat though? Yes. Should be easily revived though from there. Or maybe not. We took down two Red Commanders. Well, I didn't. My team did. My Plague Marines did help take down the war boss though. 155182. Hands capping back. The east side has a Falcon here. A gate is going up. I thought he was going to put loads of gates down here where they'd be difficult to get to but he's putting them right on this raised platform temple type thing on the eastern VP here is my chaos dreadnought with its default auto cannon good damage to all targets small area of effect have my CSM I lost my other CSM squad while they were trying to cap this power over here 133182 is a double cap for red great car shots going in they do do friendly fire so you need to be careful when you're trying to combine them with Banshees. That was a Spirit Stone Seal from Hands. Level 4 Farseer. Looters with a beamy death gun. Dangerous for the Dreadnought. Down goes the Chaos Lord. Overextended by Eerie. Pain Boy in amongst it for Boris. Supported by Hans' stuff. Look at the mobility he's showing here. Coming mid much faster than I ever could with my Plague Champion. Chaos have no transport or support vehicle of course not even their land raider can support but I am taking this opportunity to cap the east side take down his gate and put up a heavy bolted turret which easily covers the eastern VP take the opportunity to take down this webway gate which is just coming up here and go after the power well here comes hands to defend with rangers a falcon and his farseer sends his banshees after our power in fact 94-182 Red team with huge armies Especially Boris has preserved his double sluggers Level 2 and level 1 though Probably would have liked them to level up a bit more by now He's level, he's tier 3 Does have burners on both of them now Big engagement My heretics get absolutely owned But do get away Putting pressure on the falcon now trying to get my Plague Champion in combat, but he's so slow with the Armour of Pestilence, and there he is. There's a Aura of Decay knockback. Ouch, nasty, nasty plasma grenades going off. Very lucky to get my Chaos Space Marines out of there. And now I can try and take down this pesky Farsia. Level 5 she is. But I can't take her down. My Plague Champion for some reason doesn't get his hit off there winds up but doesn't complete the attack and she gets away 71 182 I think the dreadnought getting in his way there kicking off mid huge run in battle and terminators on the field for final push and they shall not no fear on the tactical marines excellent defensive buff but they are forced off now the terminator is very very isolated but here comes Eerie to help out his mark of corn chaos space from his level 2 Gives them chain axes, which are power melee weapons, plasma pistols, and a melter pistol on the aspiring champion. Health buff and speed buff. There's a rocks from Boris. Slightly wasted, I think. Only on plague marines and heretics. Didn't even wipe the heretics, or did it? Almost did. That was the nuke from the orcs, of course. A very, very powerful and killing nuke it is. This dreadnought has done awesomely well for us, I think, by final push. Has really helped us stay in the game after Eerie lost a lot of stuff when he got tripled Warp to Rex up comes mid has power blades is level 2 very nearly level 3 Pain Boy is going to get taken down here in retreat one more hit there we go sink kill Dreadnought inspired nobody because there's nobody close by to inspire kill space marines get away losing their aspiring champion 67 159 Red team with the VP advantage and a single cap and I decide to get double Blastmaster Noise Marines on the field and use them to cover the mid VP. I'm not sure if they actually did anything, I didn't really keep an eye on them trying to hold the east side against hands. Webway gate here, this is SWATs. The Warps of Exarch's Webway gates can regenerate energy for you. 52159. Lots and lots of gates, look at this. This is Hands, this is Swats. Two more over here, Swats and Swat. Grief. Gates everywhere. You are your 
Oh yeah, and the Banshees took down my power, and they came up here, and I thought they were going to take my turret down, but Hannes didn't even know it was there, so he just ran into the fire of it, and had to retreat. 39, 159, Tactical Marines forcing melee on that Wraith Guard, taking down their Warlock Leader, which stuns them, and they eat a Plasma Cannon as well. Here comes Boris, though. All of this stuff kept in line by the boss pot. You can see those orange circles. Gives them a slight health buff and suppression resistance. Loot the tank getting healed or fixed or repaired. Plasma grenades going into the turrets. Pounding banshees. Going after my plague marines now. Down goes the turrets. Easily dealt with by the falcon in the end and those grenades that went in. I think I wiped. The Banshee's here. No, there's a freaking Spirit Stone's heal. She also has Armor of the Assyrian, which makes her even more annoying. And my Plague Champion overextends here. I was trying to use Aura of Decay and get away, waiting for it to charge up, but it charges up too late. Aura of Decay is charged up by damage, or not like Providence of the Warlock. Multi Melter Dreadnought now. Good damage to everything at close range. Pretty devastating to everything at close range, really. It does have to get close. And doesn't have Emperor's Fist, so if you have strong melee stuff, you can tie it up and put some pressure on it. Plasma Cannon kind of still getting shots in. 39, 86 is very close. A two-ton cap for blue team. There's Angels of Death from Final Push. So he can stay in this engagement. 50% damage reduction on all of his infantry and knockback immunity tank chased by the dreadnought but makes it run away as well each side is all red takes my power again but i do take down the farseer and recap it with heretics i now have a mark of zinch curse dreadnought to put some direct pressure on this falcon but hans is set up here with a gate with warp spiders pounding banshees as well getting reinforced off the falcon constantly i get behind cover and do what i can what is this so where we get another one on that western edge 3956 this is where it all kicks off howling bench is coming to a very bad again and a white marco zinch dreadnought gets haywire grenaded i wipe the warp spiders in seconds those marco zinch csm doing awesome dps and i'm very lucky not to lose them there to those plasma grenades I quickly repurchase their aspiring champion to keep them in this fight. Those Star Avengers run away into the garrison. Final push urges me to cap, so I oblige. Marco Zinch Dreadnought, such awesome DPS to vehicles. Even with this energy fueled up, the Falcon can't stand against it, no way. Down go those Star Avengers. Hands trying to take down my Plague Champion, but he has Pestilence Strike up, so he's taking pretty much no range damage and down goes the falcon hans has nothing took down his dire avengers from the building 36 42 hans trying to hold that vp commits his entire army and loses the gamble pretty lucky my plague champion pretty much won that engagement for me i think he's level six now picking some ass raid guard level two Bloodletters cannot be suppressed and are in amongst this Guardian Weapon team with their beastly power melee damage and they take it down. Passive teleport into the Wraith Guard but are wiped out. Were those blood sacrifice Bloodletters? I think they were. Level 3, Marco Corn CSM. Nice to see. And there is the game. A double cap for us wins it. Very, very close. We had East, we had Mid. And we won it. I'm not sure if my Blast Masters did anything in mid, but there they were. Let's have a look at the commanders. Had a level 3 Chaos Lord, or 5 Apothecary, level 6 Plague Champion, Warps of Red Suck was level 3 with Power Blades, level 4 War Boss, I think it did very well with that Bang Bang Hammer and Hands, level 5 Farseer. Turning point in the game, I think, was this Dreadnought by Final Push. Red Team struggled to deal with it, allowed us to keep a presence in mid and kick some pretty serious arts as well. Hope you enjoyed it guys, hope you liked the map and I will see you next time.